I spent a thousand dollars on almost 50 untested Wii consoles from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna go through and test and fix about 10 of these consoles and see if we can turn a profit. So guys, welcome to the Texas Load. We're gonna start this video off strong with a Wii in a bag. Let's go ahead and see what's inside of this thing. We've got AV and power cords. Oh, and we have a, uh, oh, is this like a Europe? Oh, this is like a European power supply. Okay, is this, is this console European? Okay, so this console's from the Middle East. It says model RVL-001 UAE, Middle East there. And this thing is, it's actually in pretty nice condition, like not too many scratches or anything. And we gotta check, yep, no SD card. But let's go ahead and plug this console in and see if I can even use it in the US. All right, so I can't use the included power supply because it's 220 volt, but I'm using an American uh, 120 volt and it's working fine. Now we put out 12 volts DC. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Got power. Hey, and that's a good sign from the from the, uh, the disk drive. No free game though. Let's go ahead and see if it boots up. And hey, hold on. What is the what is the Wii Speak channel? Why have I never heard of that? Any game? Nope. There's no uh, no free games on here. But what I am curious about is if you can play US games on this uh, this Wii. So let's go ahead and try that out. Oh yeah, nice dude. And let's go ahead and see when this thing was last played. Wait, no way. This thing was last played in September 2022. Am I reading that right? Wow, that is actually impressive. This person was playing Mario Kart Wii back in August and September of 2022. That's amazing. This is by far the most recent console I've seen from the Texas load. I saw, I've seen like 2016 on some 360s, but wow, less than a year ago. That That's actually amazing. Yeah, we got plenty of save data as well. <laughs> wow. It, oh no, finally, we, we finally hit somebody that's got a bunch of Mii's. Let's see, what is that? What is that right there? Creep Sangu. <laughs> no, <laughs> Panda, let's go. <laughs> Dude, I've been waiting so long to find somebody that was like a, a cultured a cultured Wii player with their uh, with all these crazy Mii's. But also, man, we got a fully working console here to start with, always a good sign. I'll go ahead and throw the props on the screen for this console plus controller, whatever I sell with it. And then also, uh, we've got this, we'll throw the problems on the screen for these games. So by the way, here's a little background on the origin of these games. So a few weeks ago when I was like kind of sorting through all the stuff in the Texas load, I came across this case of games here. There's a bunch of like Wii games I had no idea was even included. Uh, it was also a 360 game. Most of them are, are like pretty low value, but then we get to the back. We got Resident Evil 4. We've got the Simpsons game. We've got Wii Sports. And we even have new Super Mario Bros. So none of these games are like crazy valuable, but uh, definitely much more valuable than all the other games I've found so far. By the way, our profit goal for today, it's a little bit of a side quest as I usually have. We're gonna try to get $400 in profit today and use that $400 plus some profits from previous videos to buy some cool limited edition 360 consoles. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get some cool stuff today. Next up, I'm gonna open up this inbox Wii and let's go ahead and see what's inside of here. And the first thing I see here, machine plus controllers not included. So that's a, that's a bad sign, but it is pretty heavy. So I feel like there's something interesting inside. Well, can you, hope you guys can see that on camera, but there's there's definitely a Wii in there and uh, some other random accessories. Let's go ahead and dump this out. What in the world? <laughs> I was wondering where all these accessories were. Uh, <laughs> if you guys don't remember, the Wii was like well known for having just tons of random accessories. Like we got the, oh, these are actually pretty nice. These are like soft Nerf material and you can have obviously attach them to your Wii. Wow, that's like the cleanest Wii jacket I've seen in years. Uh, sorry, I'm going on, on tangents here, but we got our, uh, <laughs> we got these cool little accessories here. Um, this one is, oh, that's disgusting. Uh, we actually have some, some manuals. And then of course, our Wii here. Again, this is a Wii that looks pretty nice. Like it's not too scratched up. Uh, at least compared to the other Wii's in this lot. And then SD card, nope, no SD card. But other than that, we do have our flaps. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. Now, before we test out this console, FlexiSpot is sponsoring today's video. And I wanna tell you about how they're helping me out with a new YouTube channel I'm starting soon. So FlexiSpot provides all sorts of standing desks, ergonomic chairs, and other desk accessories. And in my eyes, with all the time we're spending on computers these days, having a standing desk is really an essential part of a desk setup now. Now, long before they ever sponsored a video of mine, I was already buying FlexiSpot standing desks because man, their prices are super reasonable. You can even get the E2 standing desk for 150 bucks. And right now I actually have four FlexiSpot standing desks. I have this one right here. I have Danny's workstation. I have the one back at home that I used to, that did my original videos on. And I even have the brand new one they sent me, the Bamboo E7. Right now we're using the Bamboo E7 as a standing desk that'll have two monitors mounted on FlexiSpot monitor arms, a FlexiSpot drawer to store all my desk stuff, and even a FlexiSpot cable management system. But eventually this will turn into my new filming desk that I'll use for the new mystery channel I'm starting. Also, by the way, this thing holds up to 440 pounds and stays super steady even when I'm sitting on it. And by the way, FlexiSpot is having their anniversary sale starting on August 21st, and you can get up to 50% off their desks and chairs right now. So don't miss this chance to use my code YTB15 for 10% off your orders over $500, and I'll put a link down below as well. All right, got it plugged in. Let's go ahead and see if it turns on. Green light. 
Ooh, I think we have a game in here. Ooh, I can I can hear it spinning up. Let's see, what do we, what do we got? Let's see, over under $20 game. I'm going over $20 game. I don't know why, but I'm just feeling it in this one. Maybe Wii Sports? Okay, Scooby-Doo First Frights. Uh, I don't know, I mean, it looks, uh, it looks pretty good. I mean, honestly, a Scooby-Doo game, that might be worth something. Let's look it up real quick. Oh, it's actually like, yeah, not too bad, nine bucks. I mean, that's a lot better than it could have been. There's a lot of Wii games that are worth like $2, so <laughs> $9 is actually not bad. And, ooh, what is that? Oh, is that a is that the Wii U tr Universal Serial? Oh, is this, oh, is this hacked? So I booted up the WAD manager and it froze the console. I had to turn it off and turn it back on. But the WADs, the WAD is like the file type for the ROMs for, for Wii games. Yeah, so just a clarification here, WAD files are actually for like Wii channels, virtual console, WiiWare, uh, that sort of thing. Um, I'm not gonna delve into that in this video, but uh, just know that, I mean, that's cool to see something different here. But let's go ahead and see when this console was last played. And actually the sad part is that somebody could have left their SD card in here and then we would have had all the games that they loaded up, but uh, unfortunately they did not. Hey, here we go, we got, what year was that? 2016. Hey, again, another one that's like actually somewhat recent. And they played a oh, they played a lot. Six hours that day. Wow. Now, unfortunately, the Mii's are not very plentiful. But let's go ahead and go back to the main menu and test out a game. All right. Well, Scooby Doo is working. This console is another fully working console. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we have a black Wii, which is uh, very much mutilated. <laughs> it looks filthy on the top, bottom, the sides, everywhere. And there is no SD card. Oh man, that thing is. Just like littered with dust and dirt. Okay, well, let's plug it in and hopefully it works. Oh man, <laughs> there's so much dust on the back of this thing. I don't know, man. I've come across a lot of Wii's in my time and I, I don't know if I've seen one like quite this just destroyed. Oh, there's a game inside. Hey, it's funny after testing this many Wii's, you get used to the sound of a Wii booting up without a game and with a game. All right, let's go ahead and eject. Close my eyes so I don't see what's in there. We Oh baby, we got Wii Sports and it's a little bit beat up, but not too bad dude. Wii Sports is such a jackpot. This game is worth like 20 bucks now. I'm gonna get a bunch of comments down below. They're like, oh, Wii Sports is not worth that much. Well, like, go check eBay for yourself. It is worth 20 bucks. I can't believe how many free Wii Sports I've already gotten in, in this lot. Does it actually work though, is the question, because it is definitely not reading up. Ooh, oh no. Now the real question, is the game broken or is the Wii broken? If, if we're lucky, honestly, <laughs> with a black Wii, Wii Sports is worth almost as much as a Black Wii itself because this cannot play GameCube games. Uh, but let's take, test out the Scooby-Doo game and see if it works. Yeah, so it's just the Wii. Okay. <laughs> How am going to me channel B? They all look exactly the same. Whatever. Hey, here we go. February of 2015. So <laughs> this console has not been played in the last eight years. Uh, I'm still amazed that the, the battery in this thing is actually keeping the time. I mean, that's amazing just in and of itself. And to be honest, guys, I'm not sure if I'm going to repair this console because like not only is it a Wii, which is not worth that much, a black Wii that's not game, GameCube compatible is worth even less. If I decide to fix it, you'll see it now. If you if I don't, you'll see the profit number on the screen. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, I have a couple of Wii consoles from a few weeks ago that I was trying to repair and had to wait for some more parts to come in, that sort of thing. Uh, just, just know that there were, I don't remember exactly what the issues were on these two. I think one had a bad laser and a bad motor. The other one had bad uh, gears, basically parts that were just too tedious and too expensive to replace versus just getting a new drive. So I bought, I got two uh, refurbished drives from eBay for like 17 bucks each. We're just gonna swap them out and see if that fixes the issue. So fortunately, swapping out a disk drive on a Wii is super easy. Just take everything apart. And then once you get down here, all you have to do is to remove these two cables from the old disk drive and then latch them into the new disk drive. And it's just like a, a straight a straight swap. You don't have to do any flashing, none of, that, none of that jazz. So those two cables are plugged in, got the disk drive in place. Let's go ahead and just plug it in and see if it works now. That's a good sign. I don't hear any hear any grinding. Let me put a game in. All right, we're gonna try out this Cars game from <laughs> this giant pack of games I have, and it's looking good so far. Oh yeah, so Cars is loaded up. It's working now, and man, as you guys saw, super easy swap. Let's go ahead and do the second console now. All right, so same thing for the second console. We got it plugged in now, and by the way, these two drives are GameCube compatible. Just in case you're wondering, let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, we'll try this Goosebumps game from this little pack here. Loads up with no problem at all, and it's spinning up. That's a good sign. So no surprise there, Goosebumps is loading up without an issue. Of course, I gotta put these consoles back together, and they'll be listed for sale. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Next up is a white GameCube compatible Wii. We are missing one door. Let's see if we have an SD card. Ooh, let's go. We've got an SD card. We got, ooh, 16 gigs. So that means there's either some photos on here, or maybe a modded Wii. Uh, but let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, guys, I'm also filling another free game here. Let's see. Another one, I can hear it. Let's see what we got. I just, I can't wait now. What free game do we have? We have Mario Kart. <laughs> Dude, how many people leave their games in their Wii's, man? This is, this is just like unbelievable. I can't believe this. People are gonna start thinking I made, people are gonna start thinking I framed these videos. I faked them. Uh, <laughs> these are indeed not fake videos. People are gonna claim it now because of how many free games I'm getting. <laughs> this, is, this is wild. And there it is, it already booted up. 
Wow, man, that is amazing. Now let's see what's on this uh, memory card here. Oop, three photos and seven movies. Santa Buddies. <laughs> what is an AVI file? Does somebody put actual movies on here? We got Toy Story 3, Santa Buddies. Uh, the Return of God, these are like movies. So of course the photos are just some kid's shoes and then the last photo, which I won't show, are just like, it's just like a random eight-year-old sitting in a chair. <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh man, for 2013. Good stuff, man. And I didn't really mention it, but this Wii actually looks pretty solid. Like there's not too many scratches on it compared to the other Wii's I've seen. Of course, we have to check out the Mii channel and just, of course, boring, nothing here. I'm actually a bit surprised at how mild the Mii's have been on the Wii's I've, I've tested so far because uh, I thought everybody else was like me where you just create ridiculous Mii's all the time, but apparently not. Maybe I guess that was just me, I don't know. But let's go ahead and see when this was last played. Holy crap, eight hours and 46 minutes of Wii Sports? Oh my goodness. Wait. How does this happen? You go from playing eight hours of Wii Sports one day and then just getting rid of your console. Like August 2015 was the last time it was played. <laughs> That's amazing, wow. And by the way guys, all the consoles and games you see in this video will be listed on Whatnot. I'll put the link down below. They'll be listed as of right now when you're watching this video. But if you sign up for the first time, you get a $15 credit. It's a pretty nice deal there. But man, we got another working console here, another free game. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Next up is another white Wii that's uh, pretty filthy and beat up. Let's see if we have an SD card and we do not. Uh, we are missing a door. Ooh, I didn't even notice that. What is that? That's nasty. Okay, well, let's plug it in and hope it works. Now, just from looking at the outside of this console, I'm gonna guess the disk drive does not work, but, ooh, and the power button is sticky as well. This, uh, disk drive sounds iffy. There's no game in there. I can already tell there. Let's go ahead and see if it uh, connects up here. And, ooh, pretty barren Wii. Barely any channels downloaded. That's sad. Let's go ahead and see if a game works. First, I'm gonna try this Wii Sports that we got for free a couple of consoles ago and see if this loads up. It is a bit dirty. I can probably resurface that. I mean, it sounds okay when it's spinning. It doesn't sound perfect, but it sounds okay. And double jackpot, our game works, our console works. Dude, wow, what a steal. Man, Wii Sports, like such a simple game, but honestly one of my favorites of all time. Um, but I, I'm actually amazed this disk drive works. Like I've seen a lot of, just in this lot, I've seen a lot of disk drives that are just, uh, just have random issues, but I'm actually pretty surprised that Wii disk drive works. But let's go ahead and see when this thing was last played. I love how the most recent thing I find is an update from 2010. All right, let's keep going. Last time this console was played was back in September 2009, and it looks like the, con the game played was Smash Bros. Brawl. So that very well could have been the last time that person played Smash Bros. Brawl. And of course, here on the Me channel as well now, pretty basic. We got this one guy with a stash named Drew. Uh, and yeah, these are just normal Mii's, man. Like nothing special, just normal stuff. But let's go ahead and move on to the next console, because this one, this one works. Next up, I want to do another one of these box Wii's, and this one looks pretty solid. Uh, okay, there's a big rip there, but other than that, it looks solid. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Reveal the top cover. We do have, ooh, we got a Wii remote. We've got a nunchuck, a bunch of cords. We've even got some old batteries here. And hey, we have the, the Wii stand. We've got the Wii operation manual in there. And ooh, the console. Console doesn't look too bad, hey. Got both covers here, SD card. Nope, no SD card, but yeah, this console. Hey, this lo console looks pretty good. But let's go ahead and see if this console turns on. We got life. This drive sounds okay, but there's no free game in there, which is unfortunate. Where's my controller? We, yeah, pretty basic, unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and see if the game works. There we go, Wii Sports, it is working. Let's go ahead and see when this thing was last played. All right, November 2011, last thing played was Netflix. Wow, how how lame can you be? Netflix, I mean, that's not surprising. <laughs> the only thing on here is Netflix, there's like no games, no, there's barely anything downloaded on here. But let's check out the Me channel. I can almost guarantee you there's gonna be like, maybe one Me, maybe, maybe two Me's. Oh, oh, hold on. No, I was wrong. There's like 25 Me's here. Again, nothing too interesting, but um, there, wow, at least there's a, at least there's variety. Dad. Dude, that's the most genetic. <laughs> that's exactly the same character my dad made too. Like, <laughs> do all dads look the same? <laughs> well, despite being in a box, this console was not too interesting, but we did get a lot of accessories, of course. Um, but yeah, console works. Another one. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Next up, we have another one of these black Wii's that can't play GameCube games. And this one might look even worse than the first one. Like what, what happened here? Why does that look so bad? I don't, I don't know, but uh, no SD card. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, three, two, one, turn it on. And ooh, free game. I hear a free game. Let's go ahead, I can't wait any longer. Let's see what's in here. Mario Kart, Mario Kart, planes. Oh, lame. It's free though, I can't complain too much. I mean, hey, you never know, planes might be worth something. Let me let me actually look it up real quick. Uh, yeah, never mind. six bucks. So, could be worse. Obviously, could be a whole lot better. And, oh, we got some stuff on this console. We've got, or by stuff, I mean, hockey all-star shootout. Nice. But I mean, let's go ahead and put the planes game back in. And uh, let's go ahead and boot up this hockey, hockey shootout and see if that works. <laughs> I don't know, man, I can't figure this game out. It seems like the, the how hard I'm swinging the remote does not correlate to how hard I hit the puck. I, whatever, man. Let's go ahead and <laughs> go back to the main menu because that game is working at least. And hey, man, the game is loaded up. 
Uh, I don't, don't want to jinx myself, but I say we're getting pretty lucky today with how many how many disk drives are working. Uh, let's go ahead and see when this thing was last played. All right, so March 2014. Yeah, it was definitely the last time played. Get, get connected video. This person went through like 12 different apps and played them all at the same. Okay, whatever. Uh, but anyways, last yeah, last March 2014, which is actually fairly recent compared to most other Wii's. Um, but yeah, this console is good to go. Everything works. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it off and move on to the next one. All right, next console up. I already have it plugged in. I forgot to show you guys, but it looks pretty normal. Is there an, oh, there's an SD card. Hey, one gig made in Japan. Nice, that's enough to do something on. Um, and yeah, it doesn't look too terrible. Let's go ahead and turn it on, see if it works. I got a feeling we got a free game in here. Let's see. Nope. Ooh, no free game in the disk drive. Sounds a little bit sus. We'll check it out here in a second. Now, boom. Oh, yes, we have games. We got Punch Out, Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros. 3, uh, Mario Kart Channel. That was free. Nice. So we have some of the classic games. That is awesome. I, I love when I see that. Now, first, of course, my first, uh, first question here is, does the game work? Because, like I mentioned, the disk drive sounded a little bit strange. It wasn't that bad, but it was like a, a little bit off. But it is booting up, and it sounds normal now, so maybe it's fine. I mean, what can you say, man? Another, another Wii Sports working. Gotta love the free games. These are like good free games too. Super Mario Bros. At least, at least like the the well-known ones. And I'm trying to remember how much these cost because I remember surfing through the Wii Shop channel back in the day, and I think I bought a few of these games. And like, I think they were around like I don't know four or five bucks maybe. So not too bad, honestly, especially considering how much these games cost like physically nowadays. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out. I feel like this channel's gonna. I feel like this Wii's gonna have some some interesting Mii's. So let's check out the Mii's and then we'll see when this thing was last played. Hey, here we go. We got, uh, not too many, but we got a few weird, we got, Char oh, Charlie Brown. Nice, I think I had a Charlie Brown as well. We've got the Chariz, I don't know how to say that. Wait, has this guy got horns? El Toro. <laughs> got, I love coming across weird Mii's or interesting Mii's. Kitty, yeah, it looks like a kitty. Uh, nothing else here. Wait, what is that? Oh, Jason. Okay. Oh, it looks like Jason, like the, the horror character. Nice. Okay, cool. And I forgot we have an SD card here, so let's go ahead and check out the photo channel. And then we'll also check out and see if there's any games loaded on this SD card, because that is a possibility as well. All right, no photos. All right, so SD card menu, and there's nothing. Okay, cool. <laughs> any save data, like anything? Nope, nothing on the SD card here either. I don't know, man. It doesn't really matter. It's just uh, interesting when they have an SD card in here and there's nothing loaded on it. Uh, but let's go ahead and make sure at least one of these games works here. Hey, yeah, it works. I need my classic controller, but... It is working. Now, of course, last thing, like I mentioned, gotta check when this thing was last played. All right, so March 2011, and last thing played was, of course, Netflix, because just like, why not, of course. But <laughs> console does work. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we have a Wii U console from a couple weeks ago that couldn't connect to Wi-Fi. And after a bunch of troubleshooting in that video and after that video, my conclusion was to try to swap out the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi chip with a new one. Um, I, found, I found this one on eBay. It was like the only one I could find, so got kind of lucky that I found it. And we'll go ahead and just swap it out and see if that fixes the issue. So here in the bottom of the motherboard, we have the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi chip, which comes off pretty easily. We'll just snap it off. And it has two antennas connected. So what we need to do is snap off these two antennas and then connect them to the new Wi-Fi chip and then put the new Wi-Fi chip in this port right here. All right, I got those two antennas snapped into place. We'll go ahead and place the Wi-Fi antenna in this little port. And all right, cool. We should be good to go now. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put the console mostly back together. We'll plug it in, test it, and see if it works now. So as you can see here, I have the Wii U partway back together, and the good news is it is scanning my Wi-Fi network, so let's go ahead and see if we can connect, and let's, uh, let's, let's, hope, let's hope it works. All right, we're connected to the network device. Now, internet, please, 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 come on. No. <sighs> All right, well, apparently there is a different issue, so uh, I guess I'll keep investigating. All right, guys, the console is working now. It is connecting to the internet. Uh, long story short, I had to manually set my IP address on here, which is very strange because I've connected hundreds of consoles to multiple different Wi-Fi networks and literally never had to do this. But on the specific Wii U, I had to because of, I guess, a bug in the firmware or whatever. But I manually set the IP address, was able to update. And once I updated to the latest firmware, now I can use my Wi-Fi just normally without manually setting the IP address. So that was it. Uh, very strange. Uh, fortunately, I did not need to break down this console, but it's it's no big deal. I learned some stuff breaking it down. But this console is good to go. It'll be listed down below. Let's go ahead and move on now. All right, next up we have another white Wii, and this one is uh, just disgusting. It's got a bunch of sticky stuff on the bottom with like hair stuck to it. Like, oh man, like what in the world happened here? SD card, nope, no SD card. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. I really want another free game here because like, why wouldn't I? Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. And oh, yep, I hear a game. I hear a game. Let's go ahead and eject. What do we have? Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart. Wii Sports, the next, the next good, uh, the next, the next best thing is what I meant to say. And it was pretty scratched up, but maybe it works. Dude, I cannot believe how many people left Wii Sports. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. Like if somebody gave their Wii away back in 2013 when, when Wii Sports was worth like, 
who knows how much, I don't know, three bucks or whatever. I guess it makes sense that they gave away their Wii and left Wii Sports inside of it, but it's still just, just amazing. And we are booted up here. We've, of course, got our Mario Kart channel. We've got all the classic channels here. Nintendo channel, internet channel, check me out channel was my favorite. And where's the Everybody Votes channel? That one was my second favorite. And of course, Netflix, because who doesn't have Netflix after like, you know, 20, 2010 or whatever. And of course, the game is working. Let's go ahead and see when this thing was last played. Oh, oh, wait, 2020? Yeah, they, sure enough, they last played Wii Sports in August 2020 and then just gave away their console because <laughs> they left the game in there. That's, <laughs> oh man, that's uh, that's funny, hilarious, sad. It's kind of funny. But let's go ahead and check out the, the Mii channel. Oh, ooh, oh, jackpot. This might be the most Mii's I've seen on a console so far. Dude, I made some like this where I just make a random person and type in random letters. No surprise there, classic Bill. Uh, most of these actually look, you know, like pretty normal, like not like abstract or anything. Mr. Nut, <laughs> what in the world? Super Dad, <laughs> they all look the same. Honestly though, I just can't, I can't believe we got another free game and, and Wii Sports of all things, like just, just amazing. But again, guys, another Wii console good to go. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, guys, so the number you see on the screen is my budget left for limited edition 360 consoles going forward. This is basically my profit up until now through all the videos, minus the two consoles I've purchased so far with my, uh, my, my profits. Uh, I purchased a brand new 360, and I've also purchased a Modern Warfare 2 limited edition Xbox 360 complete in the box. Both of those are coming soon. I'll be unboxing them on the channel. And just remember that the number you see on the screen is not including labor, so uh, I'm not actually quite making as much money as you see here. And honestly, it just gives us more profit to buy cool limited edition consoles for the channel. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.